In this video, I'm gonna be going through chicken scratch and what you need to know before feeding. And stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna compare chicken scratch versus chicken feed and how much and how often you should feed chicken scratch to your chickens. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Have you fed your chickens some chicken scratch before? Well, they love it and they will come running when you shake that bag, but should they have it? Is it good for them? Do they need it? Now, we love to give our hens treats, but we need to remember that they need a properly balanced diet. So first, let's start with chicken scratch. What is it? So what is it exactly? As its name implies, it is something that chickens will scratch around in the dirt and in bedding to find and eat. It's a mixture of several seeds that chickens enjoy, much like bird food, only cheaper. The usual ingredients included in scratch are cracked or rolled corn, barley, oats, wheat, sunflower seeds, milo, and millet. How much of each will depend on pricing? Scratch with a higher percentage of sunflower and milo seed will cost a bit more since these seed types are more expensive wholesale. We've come to think of scratch as something ready-made for us in feed bags, but it goes back much further than the advent of bagged feeds. Back in the days before chickens had feed pellets and balanced nutrition, the farmer's wife may have thrown the excess or older seeds from a harvest and small chicken scraps out to the chickens as a supplement to their a meager diet. This was the likely origin of scratch. Now let's talk about the difference between chicken scratch and chicken feed. As we all know, chicken feed is scientifically formulated to give chickens the exact amount of nutrients they need based on their age and type, meaning if they're a chick or they're a hen or an egg layer chicken or a meat bird. For example, a 16% layer feed will give you 16% protein, the amount necessary for continued health and egg laying. Fiber and fat content may vary a little based on the manufacturer's formulation. In addition to corn, soybean, bean, wheat, and alfalfa grains feeds will contain a wide variety of trace elements such as selenium, copper sulfate, ferrous sulfate, and vital amino acids such as methionine. You will also supplement them with a large variety of vitamins and, of course, calcium carbonate for shell making. In these modern times, scratch is fed as a treat because it lacks sound, wholesome, nutritionally substance, giving only 8-9% to 9 protein equivalency, which is vastly inferior to the feed content. Think of it this way. Chicken feed is equal to a balanced meal. Chicken scratch is equal to to french fries and soda. While we all love to indulge in special treats for ourselves and our animals, it should not become the mainstay of our or their diet. Good balance to your hen's diet is essential if you want to keep them healthy to lay. If a hen has a diet that does not cover her nutritional needs, the first thing you'll notice is she'll stop spreading or the eggs will be soft-shelled or shellless. The body will take all the nutrition it needs to maintain good health. If the diet is terrible, she will also start to look tatty and show dropping feathers like mini molts and dull eyes depressed meaner and lack of energy. So you can see that a balanced diet is key to the health and welfare of your flock. By all means, give them treats if you want, but in small amounts and preferably not every day. Now let's talk about how much and how often to feed chicken scratch. Given that chicken scratch is a treat, you should follow this general rule on treats. Any treats that you give your hens should not exceed 10% of their daily intake. Well, how much is that you ask? Well, a chicken's average food intake for a regular day is half a cup of chicken feed. A half cup contains 24 teaspoons of content. So 24 divided by 10 equals 2.4 teaspoons of scratch per hen. That works out to a couple of beakfuls per hen. Although it sounds like a small amount, their flock mates, pleasure, exercise, and companionship in the endeavor are probably all they need. They love nothing better than a good group bug or seed hunt. If you have seeds left at the end of the scratch session, you are feeding too much. And excess sources lying on the floor will track vermin and predators. Feeding to scratch is probably the best in the evening to ensure that the birds get the bulk of their nutrition for the day. In the initial stages of training birds to go to bed, you can use scratch to lure them into the coop at dusk. Once they get the idea of bedtime, you can withdraw the scratch if you want. If you sprinkle it through the bedding, this will ensure the bedding is regularly turned over and it gives the girls some exercise before roosting for the night. However, there is a something to like warn you guys about. You don't always want to consistently feed them food in their bedding because chickens poop a lot. And them eating that chicken scratch in their bedding where they also poop increases the risk of other diseases passing to the flock and chickens getting sick. So let's answer the question, when should you use chicken scratch? Before I do that, thanks for listening. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right. Now, I rarely use scratch anymore, looking at it as an unneeded expense, but there are times when the scratch is practical. When you first get your chicks, crumb 
Bumble is an excellent tool for teaching them to trust you and associate you with good things like food. You can change over gradually to scratch as they get a bit bigger. Training the hens to eat from your hand is accessible once they realize how good it is. It can also be used as a training reward for good behavior or behavior modifications. They all likely trained those chickens you see on YouTube performing tricks and navigating obstacle courses with chicken scratch. As I've already gone through, getting them to return to the coop nightly is easier with a handful of scratch. It can also be used as a reward for enduring an unpleasant but necessary treatment such as delousing. If your hen gets a reward for being good, she will come to you time and time again. All these things encourage the bird to come to you and they will learn you will not harm them. In the winter months, giving some scratch before bedtime gives them a little boost of heat overnight. As they digest the grains, the extra heat generated keeps them just a bit warmer. So you may be surprised to learn that not many old time keepers use chicken scratch. It's an excellent training tool for backyard flocks in the honeymoon phase of your relationship and helps reward a bird for enduring something unpleasant. If you are on a limited budget, do away with the scratch and buy a small bag of mid-priced bird seed. This way you can ensure the seed is relatively fresh when you need to change for new. Give it to the wild birds. Well away from the chicken yard, I might add that. My girls usually get bird seed substitutes and they haven't complained yet. Now, do you guys use scratch? Make your own or do you substitute? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to check out this one over here. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, share this video with your friends, share the channel with your friends, like the video and subscribe. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.